Experts say the closure of the Port of Baltimore, even for a few weeks, could have significant impacts on supply chains all across the country and the world. CBS News Philadelphia's Jasmine Payute joining us now from the newsroom with more on the economic impact, and it is significant, Jasmine. Good morning, Janelle. Jim, it is significant. We know our region knows firsthand the ripple effect of losing a major thoroughfare. It's something we got a glimpse of when I-95 collapsed, bringing our area to a standstill, even if only temporarily. Now, while experts say there are similarities between the two, there's at least one major difference that could bring challenges in Baltimore. So here's what we know. Baltimore is a major port for automotive and farming supplies, and right now, nothing can get in or out. That means current stock and future shipments will likely be diverted to nearby ports, including right here in Philadelphia. You can see in this video multiple cargo ships anchored near Baltimore as maritime traffic was brought to a standstill. Now, experts say other nearby options include ports in Virginia, New York, and even diverting ships to the West Coast. CBS News Philadelphia spoke with the director of Center for Business Analytics and Disruptive Technologies at Temple University, who says the biggest thing people will notice immediately is packages being delayed, with the bridge now gone. Very close to this port, there are a lot of big warehouses for Amazon, FedEx, uh, and many other companies. So the traffic will get disrupted in the area. And traffic getting disrupted means uh, the items will be coming late a lot in Philadelphia area and uh, nearby, or, or the whole East Coast region. Now take a look at this. A tweet from the Port of Philadelphia said that it's monitoring the tragedy and that the entire maritime industry will work to assist the Port of Baltimore in any way possible. Now, experts believe it will take some time before that port can be reopened and even longer until the bridge can be rebuilt because unlike I-95, where crews were able to fill in under it as they were building to get it up in only a matter of weeks, we're told there's no way you can fill in the harbor with soil and build that bridge just as quickly, Jim. A lot of challenges ahead, for sure. Jasmine, thank you so much. And of course, stay with CBS News Philadelphia for continuing coverage of the bridge collapse in Baltimore, including the impacts it will have to our region. We'll have it on the air and online at cbsphiladelphia.com.